Okay, um, Redstone Showcase. Let's go. Um, what do we have? I'll set to night for the lamps. Um, I'll also turn this off first. So first thing is this lever. So when we flick this lever, it turns on these redstone lamps. Uh, why is that? You can see here, there's a redstone dot here, um, but there's not even a redstone dot here. So how are these being powered? Well, if we step one ana, which is plus W, we can see that um, we have, uh, actually I'll turn on the signal so it's more apparent. Um, we have this zigzag, which then um, goes and powers this over here. And this redstone is actually what is powering this redstone that's one ana to it. I'm sorry, one kata to it. Now why is that? Because what's actually happening here is if I do this, this is sort of like the 3D equivalent, right? We have redstone that is one up and there's a slab like um, adjacent on top. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, just, it's actually just this because there is no slab blocking this connection. So the rest of these slabs, they're like on the side. That's like if you had slabs like over here and over here. And then for completion's sake, we might as well um, add the lamps. This is like, this is the, this is the 3D equivalent of what we have going on. Uh, we wouldn't say it's being like blocked off in this case because it's going, coming from a different direction, from the W direction. So that's also what's happening over here. Um, it's coming from the W direction. What about this one over here? Well, this one over here, this is the 3D equivalent. We have a piece of redstone strongly powering, is it strongly powering? I think it is, yeah, strongly powering the block beneath it, which will then power all adjacent blocks. Um, but if it's one slice adjacent, that's still considered horizontally adjacent. So if I step back one on it, you can see this is adjacent to this um, spruce block, which is why it also gets powered. Cool. Um, and then I just have a setup with a T flip flop that just like sort sort of show sort of shows more of those. So if we step um, one on again, um, T flip flop, um, it's powering some of these. Um, here it's pink, and the pink tells us that's going one kata. So if we um, go back one kata, uh, we can see here this one is blue, which means it's connected one ana. So these two. These two are connected to each other and they power through there. Um, this isn't like a different type of redstone. If I pick block, it's the, it's the same type of redstone. Um, it's just, um, that is what's powering it. Why is that one still on? That one is still on because, uh, which way were we going? Kata, um, Ana. Because this block is actually powering, uh, this block, this spruce block is powering this. So that's why that one stays on and the rest turn off. Um, yeah, which I think is pretty cool. Um, that's also how these um, buttons work. I thought it was the noon, uh, midnight button. This is the noon button. Um, if we step one on it, we can see it's just powering a command block that's adjacent to it. And this one's also powering a command block that's one kata to it. Cool. Um, again, the coloring rules are just, if something is blue, then it's connected in the um, it's connected in the ana direction. So if we move one ana, we can see it's connected to that. If it's purple, it's connected in the ana direction, but also in the kata direction. And if it's pink, it's connected in um, just the uh, in just the kata direction. Um, these don't actually do anything. That's just like to display like that's if this were if north north south if south was um, ana, then this is like it's connected to south and then that's connected to both of them and that's connected to this one and there are, are a few visual glitches so for example if i place these two and i move one ana and I place these two these two update that okay they're both connected on the kata side but um if i come down here these ones haven't updated um they won't actually update until i like yeah up update the blocks and then they realize that they're connected um this is just a visual glitch though. So, um, if I place a redstone torch, you can see here that um, everything is being powered like normal, right? It, it just hasn't realized that it's also connected in that direction. 
So everything everything powers like normal. Um, it's just a visual glitch right now that I will work on solving eventually. Um, what else do you have? Uh, redstone clocks, which were somewhere here. Here. Let's turn them on. Oh, I forgot to help me place that. Is that going to break the other redstone clock? Hopefully not. Okay, fine. Okay, after a little bit of jank, we're back. So this one is pointing this way. And then it's actually connected to the in the kata direction to this redstone, which is then moving this way in the opposite direction. And then that's connected to the ana direction. So this is like your regular um, two redstone um, tick uh, clock. This one is also similar. This one is four redstone ticks because it goes this way, but then it goes um, kata, it goes across, ana, across, kata across Anna. So this could have been like something like this, where if the Y axis is representing the W axis here on our slice, we have, they go this way, the redstone, and then the redstone's going this way. But then on the bottom slice, we have that the redstone's going this way and then back that way, which is what we have here. I'm stuck. Okay, we're good. Um, there are a few sticking rules, which I might explain it. Uh, I won't explain those. That'll be a separate video. What else is it? Quasi connectivity works like you'd expect. So let's see. Here, the setup is that we have um, blocks that, compared to this line, are one below and horizontally adjacent. But these ones are also technically one below and horizontally adjacent because. Um, one step in W is still considered a horizontal step. So these blocks um, will also get um, powered via quasi-connectivity. What is like this back there just to indicate that that's getting powered? Um, so when we turn this on at first, um, the doors open as usual because like those are powered. These are um, quasi-powered. So since these blocks above are powered, um, but um, they haven't been updated. They don't know they're powered yet. So again, the blocks like between the head of this door and this redstone lamp, they are powered. Um, I mean, since they're powered, um, because of the code, um, these should also be powered, but um, they haven't been updated for that. So if we then just place the block above, we can see all of these end up getting powered. and all of these also end up getting powered. Um, the cool thing is that on the unpowering, right? So the doors, um, they unpower instantly. If I place a block here to unpower, this is what just happened. Okay, um, I think some chunk loading bugs. Did, did it just stop loading? Is that why? I don't know. Um, That's so weird. Um, if I were to place a block here, right, that would um, retract this piston head. But this piston head is actually adjacent to this piston base. So all of these will stop at once. We'll see when I place this block, these blocks have also retracted. And yeah, that's because um, that's because they were actually connected together. Similarly, if I place a block here, it's going to extend, and that piston base, I'm sorry, that piston head will be adjacent to this piston base, um, updating it. So then these pistons will also extend. Those, um, that dropper will also spit out just because it gets updated through like the whole update chain. Yeah. Um, this is like a 3D equivalent of what's going on. So place a block there, it powers, place a block there, it powers. They both unpower at the same time. If I place a block there, both of them power because the piston head updates the piston base that's next to it. Um, what else is there to explain? Okay, um, this thing, um, this is just like a showcase of like a practical application. Um, it is just a piston wall. And we can see that there's no visible redstone. 
um, you could like very easily fit this in a normal wall. It's very compact. And so like you could just have, you really only need blocks across here and then the rest of it could just be a normal one, um, one thick wall. So uh, how does this work? Well, all the redstone is actually happening on the slice that's one kata. Let's look at what's happening here. So we have a pulse extender, which gets negated. So by default, the pistons are on. And the reason the pistons are on is because of these target blocks. So all of these target blocks are being strongly powered. Strongly powered? Yes, strongly powered by this redstone. Um, since target blocks will power any blocks um, adjacent to them, right? These, the W, um, the pistons that are one W way are also technically adjacent to them. So the only difference is like the change in W is one, but they have the same X coordinate, Y coordinate, Z coordinate. So um, in like this 40 space. Um, so that's why. Let's see, actually, I'll keep that there. When we step on the pressure plate, this one's not working. Why is this one not working? Oh, because this bottom one. Oh, do we actually only need every second to have the block? Maybe. I don't know how to do redstone. I don't know how to do redstone. Okay. Um, this can be simplified, I guess. Because um, this. That gets strongly powered. Oh, and then, um, and that's where the QC powering comes into play as well. So these are the the rest of them also just get um, QC powered, which is cool. Oh yeah. Um, maybe I'll make a better version of it. Like I guess this is a more simplified version. Um, you could probably also you could simplify this further. Um, but yeah, the basic idea is that I stepped in the wrong direction. The basic idea is that. You can have this completely um, hidden redstone thing. Yeah, um, that's all to show. Um, if you want to try it, the um, link to the mod source will be in the description. And one word of advice is to just turn down your render distance because um, the server is loading chunks cubically, like um, like in like on cubic ordering compared to. Um, the render distance so um, your game will lag a lot if you um, try to render all of those it will not be fine um, this is just an alpha release so i still need to get the um i still need to get the the thing working but um i need to get pistons to be able to actually face in the cotton on a direction so they can push blocks in those directions and then i will also need to simply uh, make it yeah so other redstone things can have a facing attribute um that is like not just north south east west so you can have repeaters facing kata and stuff as well um but yeah that's that's it for now